It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Magic Rock Brewing Company and I've reviewed this beer before. I interviewed Richard Burhouse, the owner of Magic Rock Brewing Company when they first opened the brewery in 2012. I was invited up to Huddersfield, England to have a look at the brewery and me and Richard sat outside on a sunny day 12 years ago and reviewed Cannonball India Pale Ale. I believe back then, forgive me if I'm wrong, Richard, if you ever watch this, or, or anybody else who might believe that this might be wrong, but I don't think they actually bottled the product back in 2012. I think it was straight out of the fermenter. It was definitely straight out of the fermenter, but it wasn't a packaged product. So I was drinking this beer super, super fresh. And I remember Richard being deadly, deadly excited about this beer. 7.4% ABV, 440 milliliter can. But the real interesting thing about this, the real interesting thing about this is that whereas back then it wasn't a packaged product and we were drinking out of a fermenter, dead excited. Now I'm able to pop down Morrison's and buy this beer. And it was one of my viewers that suggested I try this beer. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Now this beer is between £3.50 and £3 a can. Picked it up in Morrison's. Let's get it poured. Here we go. We got a two to three finger white head. Now it, it's interesting because I've not watched the video back. I've not looked at what the beer looked like originally. Um, so I can't really comment on if the beers change color. I remember back then drinking the beer thinking, oh my goodness me, this is like the best thing since sliced bread. It was fantastic. Uh, I wonder what, what my feelings are now on the beer, but it's hazy, hazy. Deep amber in colour. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Grapefruit, passion fruit, mango. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange. The aroma is absolutely fantastic. So the reason why I got around to reviewing this beer 12 years later is I had some comments. I did a review of the Lidl. Now, believe it or not, Magic Rock are now in Lidl's. Uh, they're not owned by kind of Richard Burhouse anymore. He might have a couple of shares in the company, but it's owned by back to independent. But it was owned by Lion Lager uh, up until recently. Uh, Lion Lager sold it to a, uh, an independent company. So they're back independent. They're an independent brewer again. But the fact is now that you can buy it in Morrison's, Lidl, Asda, Tesco, that sort of thing. But it smells really good. It smells really good. It shows how far this company's come. So one of my viewers said, after buying and reviewing the Lidl beer, check out Cannonball. Check out Cannonball after all the years. He said he buys it on a weekly basis and he still thinks it's a terrific, terrific beer. So let's get into this one. Cheers. Mmm. Uh, oh, it's interesting. It's an interesting beer. It really is. Um, do I do I like it? It's tropical. It's tropical. Is pineapple. There's definitely some grapefruits in there. A little bit of passion fruit, mango. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange. It's a good beer. 
it's a good beer but then on the other side of things you can definitely tell now that it's a supermarket beer unfortunately unfortunately you can tell now that it's a it's a supermarket beer it's bear in mind though it's it's between it's probably three pounds fifty to buy as of 2023 But um, it's, there's a little bit of an astringency coming through. There's a little bit of, um, whatever they used to do, Magic Rock, back in 2012, which was probably raw ingredients of malt, hops yeast and water i remember on the side of the cans and the bottles of magic rock beers you always had a list of ingredients that was when they were properly independent that's when they hit their height that's when everybody was willing to spend five or six pound on a can of magic rock craft beer um fair enough there are some ingredients on here contains barley and wheat so it's not technically the full list of ingredients they're saying contains barley and wheat um so there's probably i would say there's probably other things in here different kind of egg maybe maybe lots of different hop extracts um hop concentrates they've made a 7.4 percent abv more or less double IPA, more or less double IPA, that probably used to cost a little bit more than the £3.50 than it costs a day, but they've managed to make the beer and send the beer out to most Morrisons throughout the UK. And that's an achievement in its own right, isn't it? It's an achievement in its own right. But would I buy it again? Would I buy this beer again? It smells okay. It looks okay. But what I'm finding with supermarket IPA, I remember when Stone Brewing Company went into Tesco. If you were if you remember when Stone opened their Berlin Brewery, Stone Berlin, fantastic company, um, fantastic reputation, and the beers from Stone Berlin were just a bit kind of like ugh, they weren't great they weren't great um i don't know i don't know this got this very same kind of feeling like magic rock used to be a great great company this is this is just drinking a little bit like on the chemical side, a little bit on the, um, too on the extract side for me, too much on the, maybe the hop concentrate side for me. Um, but that said, on the other side of the coin, it's okay for, for three pound 50 a can. It's not gonna blow anybody's world apart in terms of beer, but, um, I'm definitely not as excited as I was sitting with Richard Burhouse drinking the original Cannonball at, at their Huddersfield Brewery at the time. I'm not as excited about this 2023 Cannonball as I was about the 20, 2012. So maybe it was 11 years ago, not 12, but 11 years ago. Maybe, maybe, I'm not as excited as I as I kind of as I was back then. But then again, it's supermarket beer now, isn't it? Supermarket beer. I'm gonna rate it. Um, I'm not gonna rush out and buy this again, I'm afraid. It's not gonna be like, oh, this is incredible. I'm gonna go and buy it again. It's a, it's a once great company that are now making average supermarket beer. Took me a long time to get around to that, didn't it? Um, six out of 10. Six out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. 
please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers